Hey guys, welcome back. I have been using Lineage OS 16 ROM on my Galaxy S8 Plus for a month now. I must say, this ROM is very snappy and completely bug free. If you want to install Lineage OS ROM, I have a video, find the link in the description. I was kinda missing certain Samsung features like swipe to make a call, swipe to take a screenshot, which are obviously not present in AOSP ROMs. Then I came across this ROM called Lite ROM for Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus which is based on Android 9 Samsung One UI. In this video I'll show you how to install this ROM and also share my thoughts on it. Before we begin, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If you have not rooted your phone, I have a video for that. The link is in the description. Follow the instructions and when you are done, come back to this video. You need to go to XDA developers page and download the ROM zip file. Find the link in the description. Once you have downloaded, copy the file into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now turn off your phone. Then press and hold volume up, Bixby and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. When you are in TWRP recovery, click on wipe, format data, type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache and cache, then swipe to wipe. Now go to install, choose the ROM zip file, and swipe to flash. Installation begins with Aroma installer. Click on next, agree to the terms, choose installation, select wipe data. Beauty of this ROM is you get to choose the Samsung gaps that you really need and ignore the rest to save system memory and RAM. Click on next. If you want to customize Samsung good lock, you can choose the apps you need. I don't use it, so I will skip these apps. Then select the Google Apps. Then I choose Stock YouTube App. Click Next. You can remap Bixby button to any of these functions. I like to use Bixby button to launch my camera app, so I choose this. Click on Next. I choose Stock Camera App. There is Dolby Dual Speaker Mod, which makes the earpiece work like a second speaker. I prefer Samsung Keyboard. If you need multi-language support for Samsung Keyboard, you can do that. But I don't, so I will skip this. I prefer Samsung Contacts and SMS app because I like Swipe to Call and SMS gestures. Then you choose your default launcher and click next. Modded system apps can be unstable, so I choose stock Samsung apps. Netflix app has a problem running on a rooted phone. This ROM comes with a fix built in. Again, to have better stability, I choose stock kernel, but if you like, you can try TGP custom kernel. Install Magisk to have root access. You can skip the recovery update. You can also skip bootloader and modem update. 
then we are done. Now click on install to flash the ROM. Installation will take up to 5 minutes, so be patient. Now the phone has booted up, let's complete the setup process. I would suggest you guys to always keep this ROM zip file in your SD card because when you are trying out a new ROM and if the installation goes wrong and you get stuck in a boot loop, you can boot into TWRP recovery and flash this ROM. Otherwise, you will have to flash stock firmware through Odin which requires a computer and also comparatively it is time consuming. Coming to performance, light ROM gets a better benchmark score than stock ROM. This ROM is also smoother and faster with no lags or crashes at all. That is because we have not installed many of the Samsung bloatways during the installation. Gaming experience has been very good, Samsung game launcher is also working fine. Battery performance on this ROM is also a lot better than stock ROM. I finished my day with 50% of the battery left with normal usage. Thanks for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not. I will see you in the next one. Until next time, take care.